I was talking to a few guys after the game and there were four or five guys that had never played in weather that cold in their lives. It is what it is. You know, this is MLS. These, these are the challenges you have. I don't think there's another league in the world where you play one weekend in 26 degree weather and snow and then the next weekend you're playing in 80 plus degree weather. But you got to be able to manage it. Um, and I thought we managed it well. You know, you didn't see them struggle to perform. Even some of these guys that hadn't played in that weather. Like I said, after the game, we're in a good position. And, you know, the game turned in that one play, that one moment. And, and now you're down a goal, down a man, and it's hard to overcome. So we have to move on, uh, onwards and upwards. Um, you can't dwell too long. It's a long season. We've got 31 games left, and we've got to focus on Dallas. I think you make your own luck a little bit. I believe in that. Um, but I think that that certainly is an anomaly. I mean, you have three PKs out of four goals. Sometimes you go the whole year and don't get three uh, PKs. You know, I think in those PKs, um, you know, maybe we're in a, in a situation we shouldn't be, you know, where a guy's in a spot where he shouldn't be. Um, you know, maybe it's a PK, maybe it's not. I mean, that's history. I, I don't think too much about that after the fact. But um, I think it's a real positive. We've been defending well and not giving up goals from the run of play. But it's also a negative that we've given up three PKs, I, the way I look at it. So we need to limit those critical errors. Um, you know, um, because in watching the, the first PK, it's probably a PK. Zach Wani started and got 60 minutes in there, provided a spark. How do you feel his progression's coming along? Well, it's a real positive that he's already playing major minutes at this point in the season. I think there were a lot of questions going into the year on his health, you know, worries about his past injuries, and you can see that uh, that's behind him. He's 100% uh, healthy, still getting into match form and match fitness like we have with a few of our guys. Diego Valeri is another one. Um, but uh, the fact that he's healthy um, is a real positive. The fact that Diego is healthy is a real positive. But it, you know, it's still going to take some time for these guys to get match fit, to get that chemistry right. We have a lot of s the same returning players, but we have some new pieces, and it takes time for that chemistry to blend. You know, you change a few parts, and you know, the team is different. So you're seeing that a little bit. I think in the front group and even in the back with, with Paparato. But uh, it'll come in time. These guys are good players. And, um, you know, you can see in the performance it's there. Um, but we're not, you know, certainly where we need to be. Um, nor is any team at this point. It's not, it's not where you start. It's where you end. It's how you finish. And there's a lot of evidence of that. You, you know, you look at last year, the, the top team in the West, top team in the East were New York and us. And we both didn't get a win till the fifth game last year. You look at last year, there were a lot of teams that were hot early that never made the playoffs, that were at the top of the table mid-season. So, you know, we we could be uh, right now 3-0 and and then lose the next three games and now we're scrambling. So, you know, we got to keep a steady hand. We got to keep plugging away. Um, you know, it's about the consistency throughout a season. You can't dwell too much on one game. You got to move on quickly. Um, you know, this is a game that we got to move on quickly. I mean, we had some things that didn't go our way. Uh, it's over. You can't do anything about it, and you got to move on. You got to put it behind you, and you got to get get ready for Dallas.